Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, it's so good to be back. I um, I was I took a trip and uh, I was in Dubai last week. I was there for approximately uh, five days, and uh, I must say I have been enchanted with a city of uh, just sparkling uh, with beauty. Um, thank you to a very good friend of mine. Uh, Shafat Hashmi and Hassan Tirbrizi, uh, who invited me to go speak at Disrupt Dubai. It was over 250 C-suite uh, companies, corporations, uh, people from uh, attorneys, um, also physicians, and a lot of the HR directors for high-powered companies especially from Pakistan and Dubai, some from Germany, Canada, UK, and uh, Africa. So it was an amazing, um, amazing conference that was held. It was a one day conference. And uh, it was also an honor that Her Excellency Leila Rahal Al Atfani was also present and uh, she is uh, the uh, the first woman in Dubai uh, who in her own right is a global uh, speaker empowering women and she has many many uh, leadership positions which it was so beautiful to be present with so many other uh, women who are in the positions of leadership, engineers, architects, HR directors, global movers and shakers. So for that, I might say, you know, we always have women in leadership, no matter where we go. And I am proud to have been one of the speakers on that stage. You know, Henry Ford had a saying, and says those who believe they can do something and those who believe they can't, they are both right. So what is it that you believe in? Today I wanna talk about how stress affects us because that was the topic of my talk when I was speaking for the HR directors. And at the end, I'm gonna share a little bit about Dubai, but Stress is truly the number one uh, killer, creator of dis-ease in our body. Actually, not only our body, physically, mentally, and emotionally, it can literally break you down. As you know, today I have been practicing for over 24 years as a clinical hypnotherapist and stress management consultant. But prior to this, I used to be in the corporate world, working for attorneys over nine years as an assistant to attorney paralegal. And it was then that due to my personal personal life uh, and the stress at work, I was working two jobs and everything, that my body was breaking down and I was not aware of it. Or better yet, I was suppressing it and denying it and just putting band-aids by doing other things. Lo and behold, it was breaking my body down. And that's exactly what happens in the corporate world uh, even today uh, with all the pressures that it's happening. I know one of the insurance um, brokers that I know, she's going through a lot of uh, stress because of the insurance companies of not providing insurance, especially in California, for homes and condos and residentials due to uh, so many companies not providing uh, 
fire insurance, earthquake insurance, they're, so they're pulling out. That is creating stress on the agents and the agents are going uh, through a lot of stress and pressure. Of course, when you are under stress, it has something has to give in. So it's either your attitude changes, uh, your behavior changes, the patterns in your life, you either work harder or you go into depression or you're having anxiety, hopefully not having an anxiety and panic attack. And all those are just the outcomes of not knowing how to cope with stress. Um, so many take that stress and they go running, exercising, which is absolutely wonderful. And there's others who really don't know how to juggle it, especially when there's home, when there's children, when there's a husband, when there's a wife, other demands keep piling up on you. So the emotional connection to the habits that we have, we have to recognize them and recognize how certain habits and behaviors are formed. What are your habits? What are your behaviors? And that it's either overeating, smoking, stressing, insomnia. Those are the things that happen as an effect, as a cause that causes something else, but that's the effect, that's the symptom. So we can put a lot of band-aids on the symptoms, and yet one of the first ways to find the cause of what's going on, not only hypnotherapy, but how to manage stress, how to manage your stress. First, it's expressing it, and a lot of things can create stress. Fear can create stress. Public speaking can create stress. Workload creates stress. Uncertainty creates stress. Uh, not knowing uh, what's happening tomorrow creates st stress. Not having insurance and being under the gun to provide insurance and then now you have to pay twice as much because of what you didn't have creates stress. So stress, frankly, is everywhere especially nowadays, you open the TV and there is the traffic jam, accidents, murder, mayhem, everything that is happening in, around the world with our country, with Middle East, what's happening, everything can be stressful. <sighs> hmm. This is exactly what I do. Yes, and there is a lot of stress financial stress, personal stress, 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 right? So how do we cope with it? Or you can only manage it at certain times. You know, a month and a half, two months ago, I went to see a office. I was invited to see an office and it was how to help others cope with, uh, it was a behavioral uh, clinic and in there I saw this I don't know if you've heard of this or not this character this character which I didn't know because I do not watch Star Wars uh, is called Yoda baby Yoda in fact so when I saw this it reminded me of my childhood dreams that it used to come to me and I would wake up in the middle of the night screaming because I would have this family visiting and then but this little character would come into my dream as the savior right and I called it Jijo so when I saw this character it reminded me of Jijo and then suddenly it was like I have to have it so that afternoon I got home I actually not home, I got back to work and right off the path, I found it on Amazon. I ordered it two days later, I had this beautiful character. Well, my dear Adrian told me that this is part of Star Wars and it's called Baby Yoda, who is the wisest, the smallest, 
the tiniest and yet the wisest character on Star Wars. And when I held on to it, it gave me a sense of comfort and brought joy and smile to my face. Because you know how we have the third eye that when we project and what is it that we want in life? We project outwards because we move towards our most dominant thought pattern. And every thought, when you have an emotion connected to it, your body reacts to the thought and the emotion. So when I held on to this, it was, it gave me such a joy. I was like ecstatic. Stress, you shall not. There you go. Thank you. Um, it gave me a, because I started rubbing on his third eye. And I'm like, okay, now he's got a third eye, which I can resonate with. And projecting, it's the purple, the indigo part of us, if you know chakras. And his beautiful eyes that it's like big. I can see beyond what is. It's you knowing, in fact, what is it that you want in life? Because everything that we evoke from the past, it's understanding what is your stress. What is it stressing you? What is this for? Not why, but what for? The difference between why and what for is why is this happening? It's like there is this negative connotation behind it. And it's like, mm, there's a blame in there. Why is this happening? Ugh. But when you say, what is this for? It's like you start analyzing. Instead of criticizing with the why, you analyze to discover. So the what for or for what puts you in a position of self-discovery, recognizing what is it that I am stressed about? What is the cause of this mistake? Why did I fail in that? Why did I say this? What? Why did I lose my insurance? Taking ownership and what for and how you can shift it and change it. Because the moment you take ownership of it, you will realize the consequences, everything, because every action has a uh, reaction, every cause has an effect, every choice also has a consequence, either good or bad. Those are labels that we put on. So with that, it's like I can see beyond with clarity. Hmm. So in his smile, how can anyone look at this beautiful character, this little cutie, little thing, and green sage, which speaks to the heart chakra that opens your heart, just like pathways, greenery, plants, beauty. It expands your heart, your ribcage, so you can breathe much better. That's why we have the green connected to the heart chakra. So the indigo and the heart, and when you express, you open all your blue colored chakra, the expression, your throat, and your communication. So today, realizing that you can have tools, techniques, even instruments or characters, anything that puts a smile on your face that will guide you protect you and direct you as a tool for you to move forward and de-stress truly de-stress so that you can express what you see beyond visualize it project it express it and do it with love do it with an open heart because you do have a loving heart and a sound mind and have the uh, capacity to express. And with that, again, I will finish this with 
Henry Ford saying, those who believe they can do something and those who believe they can't, they are both right. So choose the things you choose for the betterment of your health. And as a clinical hypnotherapist, I'm always here to support you and guide you to becoming healthier and better. Until next week, God bless you and may the universal light surround you always. Bye-bye. Oh, yes. And Dubai. Um, you know what about Dubai? I'll talk about it next week, which is Memorial Weekend. It's about banking memories and how this beautiful experience was something I bank for a long time. Until next week, see you later. God bless.